dogs are fascinating creatures, and even if you think you know everything about them, I'm about to surprise you. Today, I'll reveal some incredible facts, like why their noses are always wet, why they smell weird when they get wet, and why they sometimes start chattering their teeth after licking something. But let's start with this first one. Why do dogs' eyes glow in photos? If you've ever taken a picture of your dog and noticed their eyes glowing like something out of a sci-fi movie, there's a scientific reason for that. Dogs have a special structure in their eyes called the tapetum lucidum, which acts like a mirror behind the retina, reflecting light back through their eyes. This boosts their night vision and helps them see in low-light conditions. When you take a picture using flash, the light enters their eyes, bounces off the tapetum lucidum, and reflects outward, creating that eerie glow. What's even more interesting is that not all dogs have the same glow. Some, like Labradors, tend to reflect green, while breeds like Cocker Spaniels often appear yellow. Puppies, before their vision fully develops, usually have a bluish reflection. And in certain breeds, like red-coated Huskies, the tapetum lucidum lacks pigment, which results in a red glow, similar to the red eye effect in humans. Now that we've covered their glowing eyes, let's talk about their powerful noses. Why do dogs have such an incredible sense of smell? To understand why dogs are such expert sniffers, you first need to know that their sense of smell works completely differently from ours. While humans process scents in a relatively simple way, dogs experience the world through their noses. They have over 100 million scent receptors compared to the mere 6 million we have. Plus, a huge portion of their brain is dedicated to analyzing smell allowing them to break down odors into tiny details. And their noses are not just sensitive, they're also highly specialized. When a dog sniffs, its nostrils move independently, helping them pinpoint exactly where a smell is coming from. Inside their nose, they have a special structure that captures and holds scent particles, allowing them to detect even the faintest traces of an odor. Thanks to this incredible ability, dogs can track people, detect illnesses, and even sense emotions. Their noses are so advanced that they can pick up on tiny chemical changes in the human body, which is why they are sometimes used to detect illnesses like cancer or drops in blood sugar. Their noses are, without a doubt, one of the most impressive biological tools in the animal kingdom. And if you think that's amazing, just wait until you hear what's next. Why do dogs sometimes lick the air? If you've ever seen your dog randomly licking the air, you might have thought, what on earth are they doing? But for dogs, it actually makes perfect sense. Besides their powerful noses, dogs have a special tool called the Jacobson's organ located in the roof of their mouth. This organ allows them to analyze smells in extreme detail, especially those containing pheromones, like the biological traces found in urine or sweat. When your dog licks the air, they're essentially capturing scent molecules and directing them toward this organ, giving them an even deeper understanding of the smells around them. It's their way of going full-on detective mode tasting the air to gather extra intel. That being said, licking the air isn't always about sniffing. Sometimes it can be a sign of stress, discomfort, or even a dental issue. It might also mean they're trying to dislodge a bit of food stuck in their teeth or on the roof of their mouth. But if you notice your dog sniffing intensely and then suddenly licking the air, now you know. It's all about maximizing their ability to decode scents using Jacobson's organ. And speaking of noses, why are dogs' noses always wet? That constant moisture on a dog's nose isn't just a random feature, it actually serves some pretty important purposes. Remember how I mentioned that dogs collect scent molecules to send them to Jacobson's organ? Well, having a wet nose makes this process even more efficient. Odor particles stick better to a moist surface, allowing dogs to pick up even the most subtle of scents. But their wet noses don't just help with smell, they also help with temperature regulation. Special glands inside a dog's nose produce a unique type of mucus that, when it evaporates, helps cool them down. On top of that, dogs constantly lick their noses, keeping them clean and primed for gathering even more sensory information from their surroundings. So if your dog's nose is wet, that's actually a good sign. It means their natural cooling and scent detecting systems are working just fine. Now let's talk about a behavior that's much louder but just as fascinating. Why do dogs howl? Howling is one of the many ways dogs communicate vocally, and it's a behavior they inherited during
directly from their wild ancestors, wolves. For wolves, howling serves as a way to communicate across long distances, whether it's to locate pack members or mark their territory. Dogs might howl to express emotions like loneliness or anxiety, or simply to grab your attention. And here's an interesting one. If there's a female dog in heat nearby, male dogs might start howling as a way to announce their presence and respond to the chemical signals they're picking up in the air. And since we're on the topic of mating behavior, let me tell you about a curious situation you might have witnessed before. Why do dogs get stuck together after mating? If you've ever seen two dogs seemingly stuck together after mating, you might have panicked a little. But don't worry, it's completely natural. This happens because male dogs have a special structure in their reproductive organ called the bulbous glandus. During mating, this part swells up, creating a temporary lock that keeps them connected. The duration of this tie can vary. It might last just a few minutes or extend up to an hour. It's crucial not to intervene or try to separate them, as this can cause serious discomfort or even injury. While it may look awkward, especially for first-time dogs, they'll naturally separate on their own once the swelling goes down. Why do dogs pant? Panting is a key way for dogs to cool down. Unlike humans, dogs don't sweat through their skin. Instead, they regulate their body temperature by panting, which helps evaporate moisture from their nose and lungs, releasing excess heat. This is especially important on hot days or after exercise. But panting isn't always about temperature control. Dogs also pant when they're excited, like when they're about to get a treat or meet someone new. This type of panting is usually quicker and may come with little whines. On the flip side, panting can also be a sign of stress. If your dog is panting heavily, avoiding eye contact, or has wide eyes, they might be feeling anxious. In this case, it's important to identify the source of their discomfort and help them relax. Panting is one of the more obvious signs of how a dog is feeling. But now let's talk about a much more subtle form of communication. Why do dogs sigh? A dog's sigh can say a lot, and its meaning depends on the situation. If your pup sighs as they flop down on their favorite spot, stretching out and looking completely relaxed, it's a sign of contentment. Think of it as their way of saying, ah, this is the life. However, sighing can also indicate boredom. If your dog has been lying around all day with nothing to do, those dramatic sighs might be their way of saying, ugh, I need some action. In this case, a walk, a new toy, or some interactive play can do wonders. But not all sighs are about relaxation or boredom. Sometimes they can signal stress or discomfort. If your dog sighs frequently, especially along with signs like panting, restlessness, or whining, it could indicate pain or unease. So it's worth keeping an eye on them and consulting a vet if needed. And speaking of things that involve water, let's dive into a question you've probably wondered about if your dog loves getting wet. Why do wet dogs smell so bad? Believe it or not, that strong wet dog smell has nothing to do with dirt or water. It's actually caused by microorganisms living on your dog's skin. Bacteria and fungi naturally produce volatile organic compounds. When your dog is dry, these compounds go mostly unnoticed. But the moment their fur gets wet, the water activates and releases them into the air, making that signature wet dog aroma much stronger. As the moisture evaporates, these molecules spread even more, filling the room with that all-too-familiar scent. This smell is completely normal and doesn't mean your dog is dirty. While you can't completely eliminate it, keeping up with regular grooming and drying your dog thoroughly after baths or swimming can help reduce the intensity. That being said, some dogs seem to have a strong smell even when they're completely dry. So let's dive into why that happens. Why do some dogs smell bad even after a bath? If your pup smells funky despite being freshly bathed, one common culprit might be anal glands. Dogs have small scent glands near their anus that produce a strong smelling secretion. These glands are part of their natural communication system. It's why dogs are so interested in sniffing each other's butts or poop. They're gathering important scent-based information. But here's where things get tricky. Dogs can also release this odor when they're stressed or anxious. That means if your dog is nervous, those glands might activate, leading to that persistent bad smell, even right after a bath. Keeping your dog happy and relaxed can help minimize these unexpected releases. However, if the odor persists, it might be time for a vet visit. Sometimes these glands need to be manually emptied, which a professional can do safely. Oh, and real quick before we jump to the next point, I've got something awesome for you. 
Head over to happydogsplace.com slash gift and grab a free guide filled with simple tips to make your pup happy and entertained. It's packed with fun ideas to reduce stress and make their tail wag even more. Check the description for the link. You don't want to miss this. Why do some dogs' noses turn lighter? If you've noticed your dog's nose changing from black or dark brown to a lighter pinkish shade, don't worry, it's usually not a cause for concern. This is called hypopigmentation, and it happens when the nose loses pigment. Sometimes it's temporary, like a condition known as snow nose, where a dog's nose lightens during colder months but returns to its normal color when the weather warms up. The exact cause isn't fully understood, but it doesn't affect their sense of smell or overall health. Other times, the color change is permanent, known as Dudley nose, which is caused by a genetic mutation. This condition is harmless, but more common in breeds like Golden Retrievers, Huskies, and Labradors. For older dogs, a fading nose can simply be a natural part of aging. One thing to keep in mind, lighter colored noses are more prone to sunburn. So if your pup spends a lot of time outdoors, consider using pet-safe sunscreen to protect them. Now let's talk about another fascinating reaction dogs have that might leave you scratching your head. Why do dogs' mouths shake after licking something? If your dog's mouth starts trembling or their teeth chatter after sniffing or licking something, don't panic. They're not cold or uncomfortable. What you're seeing is a totally normal behavior called the Fleming response. Remember when I told you about the Jacobson's organ? Well, here's where it comes into play. When your pup licks something interesting, like another dog's pee, yep, gross, but fascinating. They're collecting chemical particles and sending them to this organ for analysis. That jaw movement or teeth chattering, it's their body's way of directing those scent particles more efficiently to get a better reading of the information. Think of it as a built-in scent decoder, helping them understand all the juicy details hidden in those smells. It's totally normal and just another way dogs process their environment. All right, now that you know these weird but cool facts about dogs, I've got something else for you. Check out the video on your screen. It covers 30 things your dog needs you to know. Tap the image to watch and find out exactly what your furry friend expects from you.